Today, we're gonna to take a look at how breakdance stacks up against Elementor in terms of performance and bloat. We hear from former Elementor users all the time who are amazed at their performance gains from switching to breakdance. John redesigned an Elementor site using breakdance, which allowed him to get rid of seven now unnecessary plugins and realize a 25% increase in performance. Michael made breakdance his primary builder and says it's lightning fast. Even fans of Elementor recognize that Breakdance is a huge step forward for high performance sites. We hear tons of stories like this from Breakdance users who came from old school builders like Elementor that were created in an era where performance wasn't a primary concern. So today, let's put it to the test. I'll do a series of tests using Breakdance and Elementor and we'll see who comes out on top. Instead of focusing on arbitrary scores, I'm gonna be looking at what each builder loads and how much data is getting transferred. These core metrics are a better indicator than letter grades, which can be dependent on the tool you're using to test as well as your hosting provider and other circumstances. To give both builders a a fair shot, I've set them up on the same standard managed WordPress host and turned the host's provided caching solution off on both sites. I also have only the necessary plugins installed on each environment. And I've removed any default WordPress bloat that I can. On the breakdance side, I did this with our built-in bloat eliminator options. On the Elementor side, I used my favorite code snippets plugin, WP Codebox, to add some PHP to do the same, since Elementor doesn't have built-in bloat eliminator settings like Breakdance. Finally, Breakdance is running in its default themeless mode, but on the Elementor site, since it requires a theme, I've activated Hello Elementor. Let's start with a blank page test. In both Breakdance and Elementor, I've added a container or section and a heading element. This is about as basic as it gets. In the waterfall chart on GT Metrics, you can see that the breakdance page is sitting at only 11 requests and 45 kilobytes uncompressed, which is incredibly lean. By contrast, the same page in Elementor comes in at 26 requests and 576 kilobytes uncompressed. A lot of this comes from the theme, which breakdance avoids by being themeless. But you also have things like jQuery being loaded when nothing on the page uses jQuery. For the next test, I wanna see how each builder performs when I start adding some real elements to the page. I've created a page in breakdance containing a slider, some icon boxes, and a tabs element. In Elementor, I've created a page with the same exact elements. Breakdance's test results show some increase in what's loaded, mostly due to JavaScript for the elements that require it, but nothing too extreme with only 17 requests and 254 kilobytes uncompressed. In Elementor, however, there's a much bigger jump, landing at 37 requests and 838 kilobytes uncompressed. We did the same test around a year ago, and this page was about one megabyte uncompressed in Elementor. So they've improved things a bit, but they're still nowhere close to Breakdance's 254 kilobytes for the same page. One more test I wanna do is adding a YouTube embed to these pages. YouTube embeds are known to be performance killers, so if they're not handled properly, they can really tank your site. On the Breakdance page, we do see four extra requests, bringing us to a total of 21 and about 120 kilobytes extra, bringing us up to 370 kilobytes uncompressed. In Elementor, the page jumps from 37 requests to 69, and from 838 kilobytes to 8.26 megabytes uncompressed. The difference here is that Breakdance by default uses a lightweight loading method, which Elementor doesn't offer. Elementor does have lazy loading, which can help, but only if your video is far enough down the page that the browser knows not to load it initially. The result of this test with the YouTube embed really shows that Breakdance was built to be performant from the ground up. And that approach extends to every element and every feature in the builder. Now for our final test, let's take a look at the markup each builder generates, starting with Breakdance. Clean markup or HTML output is important for performance and SEO since pages with too many elements or deep nesting can cause problems for both. In this simplified design, you can see that we have a minimal amount of unnecessary elements in our DOM, meaning the output is incredibly clean for a page builder. Now let's take a look at Elementor's markup. For the image element here, we have two extra divs that Breakdance didn't have. Elementor also generates two extra divs for the heading, 
and five extra elements for the button, bringing us to a total of nine unnecessary elements. I think that it's clear that Breakdance has a huge edge over Elementor when it comes to performance. And that's largely because Breakdance was built with performance as a core feature rather than an afterthought. Elementor, unfortunately, was built quite a while ago when people weren't as concerned about performance. So they're left to patch poor performance later, which will never be quite as effective as something purpose-built to be lightning fast. So if you're ready to build faster sites with less effort, visit breakdance.com to try Breakdance today.